now come a very good thing default parameterizing this is a thing that c does not offer us but as per my knowledge c plus plus give us this option and it is very beneficial for us let's see how let's just move it up at it was as it was before let's say this is our function currently what it's gonna return this is our function currently what will be the output of this statement number 14 32 exactly what if i do something like this what will be the out error compilation error the reason compilation error is coming because we have not passed any value to these parameters what if i do like this something like this two will be the answer what if i i do something like this what will be the answer? here is the thing that it will give an error the reason why it will give an error whenever we are passing the arguments what is gonna do it is gonna take the value from the argument uh, or the the actual parameter and put it to the first parameter or the argument we have then it take the second and then it put it in the second argument we have but if we are only passing one the compiler will ignore this default value and will store two in it but again the error will, will not be able to get what in b is stored so this logic will not work and it will show an error so remember whenever we are giving the default values in a function we will always start from right to left we'll firstly give we'll firstly give the default value to right one and then to the left one let's move ahead this is an amazing concept we have let's just try to understand with an example let's say we are getting two numbers let's not take input let's define uh, it by ourselves suppose we are getting two numbers and we want to uh, print the maximum of it for that we have a function in our c plus plus that is max i can do simply this but this is good to like code like this in a competitive programming thing or while uh, solving a question on in online assessment but suppose you have been doing this in a interview and and the interviewer asked you that hey uh, you are using a SCL function i want you to implement a function which will give a max by yourself so this thing we are gonna make a function and we are gonna name it as max we are defining our own max function which is named as max so in this maxi function the simple logic is this n1 if n1 is greater than n2 simply return n1 else n2 what i uh, just have wrote so this is gonna return as the maximum let's say now the interviewer have changed the question and now firstly uh, the interviewer is saying firstly he was asking you to find the maximum of two numbers but now he wants you to find the maximum of three numbers but you have a function which is named as maxi but he's it is taking only two variables so what you did you made another function named as maxi three and implemented it num1 num2 num n1 is greater than n2 if n1 is also greater than n3 return n1 else return n3 else if n2 is greater than n3 return n2 else return the problem arises when some other person is seeing or uh, let's just say uh, some other person is just having this part or this section to code in and he is not able to see whatever return up whenever now a person who will increase the value of the parameters let's say uh, we had three now we want four parameters so what you will do you will make another a function with the parameter size as four and so on this is gonna go till the time we uh, like user is increasing the number here you can see every time for every uh, like different number of integers different number of arguments you have to define another number uh, like you have to write another name but when like if you know like when we use inbuilt max we simply have to use that particular max and we can simply get maximum of any numbers any amounts of numbers so this is increasing our experience so what we can do we can simply overload the function the function name will remain the same three will be or now this and we can pass the three arguments in it and for the same for the four arguments as well and we can go up till any number of integer let's utilize the maxi which we have made for two numbers and we'll pass n1 and n2 in it simple for p n3 and n4 and simply return maxi of a and b this is one way correct simple and short and we are utilizing everything which we have used this is one way other way of doing this would be maxi of three variables which we have made and simply then return maxi of a and n4 simple it's done in two statements this is by this example what we were trying to understand is that how the function overloading works at the time of function overloading we have to keep in mind two things the first that the name of the function should be same and the second is either different parameters different number of parameters or different type of parameters either of these two and this if these things are satisfied then you then only you can say that you have overloaded a function so i hope the function overloading is clear to everyone